What's up, Sim Racers Larry TJR Sim here, and today I got the RS Shifter and Handbrake in. So I'm going to unbox this real quick for you, post this out there to get you all stoked up about it. This is for the Logitech Pro, and as you can see here, you have uh, you could actually buy two of these. You can buy 20 of these if you wanted to. I don't care, but you can buy two of these and use one for your handbrake and one for your sequential. Like I mentioned in my uh, overview of these Logitech Pro Series items coming out here, uh, you could also stack them on top of each other as well if you wanted to. But this will plug directly into your base, so this is great really for the console group here. Got a little bit of squish right there. Now this one actually wasn't supposed to ship until October 13th, and my, my wheel and the uh, hub was supposed to already ship. So uh, this was a surprise, so it was a good surprise though. Let's unbox it here. I, I realize some of this isn't quite in the picture here. Let me see, is it taped in? There we go. Open it from the wrong spot. Got the seal of approval here. Alrighty, there you go. As you can tell, all the handiwork here, telling you about the camera, all the do's and don'ts, right? The clamp system, how to mount it. Let's get into it here, got the rod. Set that aside, nothing, paperwork. Here is the ooh, nice heavy duty clamp system here. It's actually got some decent weight to it. It is plastic, it looks like. It's got some little rubber rubber grommet here on the inside here as well to not damage up your, your profile, your desk. And then it looks like it has some through holes here that you can use for mounting. And same for, oops, same for the top as well. So you can mount the other other uh, handbrake on top if you wish. That's that. Actual handbrake here should be in here. If I can get this puppy out. It's got a decent weight to it. Come on now. What is this little box in here? Goodness gracious. That's just a nothing. They put these little side boxes in here. You don't know what the heck they are. If they actually got stuff in it or not. But it has nothing in it. All right. Uh, you do have some instructions and stuff down here as well. Cheers and some hardware it feels like in here yep so you got some long long screws here uh to mount it up to something to your base now the thing i don't like about this is it, it's not very uh friendly for 80 20. Uh, in other words you don't have no t-slots that come with it and uh we just basically had no t-slots right so if you buy sim magic stuff you get t-slots and some bolts and stuff that would short bolts that would work so you can mount it straight up to to your 8020. Obviously, you're going to want to use a bracket of some sort if you're using the Logitech Acer cockpit that they have. Uh, this will, of course, mount right up to that. So you have your screws here, and of course, you go from the bottom in, right? So you would obviously have to use a bracket here to mount it, mount it up. But so they do have some nice, decent long screws here. I'd imagine you can't damage anything if you screw it all the way in. Same here on the back. Got your screw holes here. These several positions. Now you got four connected here, so you can go four here. So you're gonna utilize all four of them, either mint the top two, as you can see here, or have it a little bit higher up and use the top two and mint the bottom one. But they do have a nice little cutout here, so it does clear your cord. So a little bit of forethought there, that's nice. B, it's no USB plug-in here. I don't really like that because this can tend to get damaged over time just because it does in use, but it is what it is. I would rather see in a USB, just a cable itself with the USB plug-in. And then this, of course, will plug into the back of your face, as you know. All righty, so let's see what we got going on here. You got your uh, hookups here. So you got your, the blue one is for your sequential and the front one is for your actual handbrake. Let's plug this in or hook it up rather. This is of course cloth cover here. Kind of thin, cheap cloth coming apart here. Come on now. Killing me here. There we go. Making a mess. So you've got two, you got a nice little tapered tapered in here. That's gonna go to let's screw it into the handbrake first. I just want to see how this feels, and I'm sure y'all are curious as well. Nice positive. When you run out of travel on this thing which is good now if you were to turn it here sideways just for the camera to make it easier to see you can loosen this bottom one up you know get it going here oh i unscrewed it let me see well that's quite tight isn't it all right let me let me pre-loosen here what the heck you're supposed to be able to raise this thing up and down it's quite sturdy you're supposed to be able to loosen this and 
raise it up and down. Let me see if I can get a grip on this thing here. Oh, fuck. It's tight. Tight. There we go. Good lordy. All right. <laughs> You're going to want to pre loosen this first just to loosen that baby up, but you can actually take it all the way off if you wanted to. Here's the handle. Slide it back in. Screw it on. Oh, so real quickly here. You notice you can't really adapt any kind of other custom handle to this. It is what it is. Uh, so if you don't like this, you know, tough noogie, you can't, can't do anything about it. So that's pro level for you. All right. So you got a little bit of gap here. So you really got to tighten it down here or loosen it up and you can slide this up and down the shaft here. That's what she said. And shorter length, of course, uh, less of a moment arm, right? So it's going to be harder to uh, shift. And then of course you can lengthen it, which will, of course make it easier to shift and handbrake as well less force applied for you, but this may be what you need as far as height wise when it's setting on your rig. So nice little telescoping here going on. So I like to keep it short. I will screw it back in here. Make sure I don't booger nothing up. It's pretty easy to not do that. All right, we're on here tight. Now for the action, see how it feels. All right, not too bad. So it's got some rubber stops in there. So you're not really making a lot of noise when you release it. Release this slowly. Make sure I have it in the mode. I wonder if I put it all the way here to sequential to do it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> this is just for your electronics. So here on your electronics, you got your sequential mode, you got your handbrake and handbrake. This is for old style handbrakes where it's just working as a click of a button and this is where it's progressively getting stronger, right? So this is the one you normally would use for most gains. But it feels decent, right? It's not too heavy. You can hear, actually, you hear the grease in there. I make these cords make noise, but... <laughs> All right, feels good. You got a little bit of extra travel past that for you really locking up the brakes. It has a nice progressive feel. It is not too bad, actually. For what it is, I can imagine once I get it mounted up, it's going to feel a little bit better. It feels actually heavier than, say, AOLogs shifter for comparison. AOLogs is a good little comparison here. It's a very heavy duty shifter here in comparison, but, oops, I'm getting camera. Very smooth action for the AOLogs. A decent decent pull once you get it mounted to your rig it's not quite as aggressive to you but this feels actually i take that back this feels about like an ale logs except the difference is is the ale logs has the same pull fill through the whole range where this one has the uh, a lighter pull at the top and you can feel that you're progressively getting harder at the close of the of the pool so there's some a uh, little bit of difference here that that I'm observing here. Just first look at this. All right, so I'm gonna unscrew this. That's a good little look at the handbrake version. Let's go ahead and get to the sequential. See what that feels like, and I'll compare it to the Alogs as well. So we're gonna plug into the blue hole, screw it on down. Keep in mind, I had this at the lowest lowest position as well, so your force will be a little bit more. Pretty good, as you can hear it. Not bad, not great, but not bad. It has a nice dampened feel when you grab this. So just like when you use the handbrake here, you're still traveling the same motion, right? But it has a nice tactile click. You do feel a little bit of a pushover in there, but it's not very great. It's, Sim Magic blows it away, right? But even the Sim Magic uh, H pattern and the uh, sequential combo, the DSX that I have, sequential on that one is, is still much stronger than this. This just has a nice, it has a nice rag. It feels almost like a, a stock road car actually is what it feels like. It feels like a stock road car to me. It's light to pull, not too light to pull, but it has a little bit of a drag, a little bit of resistance to it and a slight little click over in it as well. So it's not too bad. It's not pro level, but it is pro as far as they go. I imagine these are going to sell like hotcakes anyway, because a lot of console racers, you know, you want the sequential shifter and you want to eight and you want the handbrake as well. So it's a good, it's a good thing to have on the market for the Logitech. I'm actually happy to see that Logitech is expanding their ecosystem after two years now. So it took them a while to get there, but Hey, they're good in there. Right. Uh, I'll compare it real quick to the Logitech. I'll compare it real quick to the AL logs here. So here's the AL log sequential shifter, pretty light as well. This used to actually be my most favorite shifter. Uh, for a long time because it has a very positive click over a push over to just listen huh. this is actually stronger this has more resistance than the uh, a logs the a logs feels more tactile for sure 
just because it's it, it feels like it's a you're pushing over metal pieces here as you are this one you probably are too i don't know but this has just more drag resistance to it right when you're pushing past the uh, click right you still have that same click over that you feel on the ALOGS shifter as well, but this actually requires more force to do it. So, all right, well, it's a good looking shifter here. It's all blacked out. It's got a nice little blue here, uh, anodization ring rather. It has a kind of a knurled pattern here. If you can see, oops, you can see in here, my lighting's not the best today, but it has a nice wide hand grip, which I like where this is tiny for a kid's hand. This one fills fills up my hand uh, nicely, right? So it feels pretty good as, it, as far as that goes. I don't know in the software if you can reverse this, this being upshift and that being downshift. We'll get into that when I mount it up and uh, do a further investigation. So this is just a first look at the sequential slash handbrake for Logitech Pro Series. And then of course you, know, you got your bracket, very heavy duty bracket. I have no, no qualms that this will not, uh, this will, have no problem keeping this from moving around on the rig. So anyway, first look at it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the track. Leave some comments below. I'm out.